You probably haven't heard of a more revolutionary truck that could easily take over the entire US market. It's got the power, it's electric, super cheap, and it's a pickup. But there's one catch, the United States government doesn't want you to buy it. Say hello to the BYD Shark, an electric pickup truck from China that's sending shockwaves across the world while hitting a concrete wall in the United States. This is no electric vehicle. This is the BYD Shark, packing insane range, bleeding edge tech, and a price tag that makes even the most popular American pickups seem really expensive. However, all of these factors contribute to its intense controversy. Why would the government care about a truck? Should that be in the tech alone and what it does to American car manufacturing, or deeper yet, in global trade politics? In today's video, we're going to break it all down, from the impressive features of the BYD Shark to the reasons behind the US government's resistance. We'll dive into the tech, the politics, and the future of electric pickups. Will the US government ever allow the BYD Shark to roam US roads, or will they stop it before it even starts? The Shark is not just any electric vehicle, it's something of a game changer within the world of pickup trucks. That means the BYD Shark already carries a new generation electric motor packed to the brim with 450 newton meters of torque, or 332 pound feet, always ready to pull all heavy hauls with grace. Whether it's transporting equipment to a job site or launching a boat for a weekend excursion, the BYD Shark performs these tasks effortlessly. It's more than just muscle, it's smart muscle, powered by cutting edge electric technology. Then comes the range. One of the biggest concerns people have with electric vehicles is range anxiety. But with the BYD Shark, you're looking at over 300 miles on a single charge, putting it in direct competition with the Ford F-150 Lightning and the Rivian R1T. That's more than enough to tackle long road trips, weekend adventures, or a day full of work without needing to stop for a recharge. And what's best? The battery charges in less time compared with most of its peers in the category, brushing off tiring minutes at charging stations. However, the BYD Shark offers much more than just performance. With a starting price of around $45,000, it is significantly more affordable than American competitors, like the Ford F-150 Lightning, which starts at around $55,000, and the Rivian R1T, whose upper-level model costs over $100,000. While most electric trucks come with high five or six figure prices, the BYD truck is affordable. Customers who want to own an electric truck without breaking the bank are showing interest in the BYD truck. The price of these electric trucks is so low that it could potentially disrupt major US automakers' pricing strategies, forcing them to reconsider how they can compete in the electric pickup truck segment. And it doesn't stop at that. Featuring an ultra-rugged, sleek, modern design, all the trimmings of a proper pickup, chock full of tech inside, the BYD Shark will feature a big touchscreen interface, wireless charging, and state-of-the-art driver assistance systems. It seems BYD is targeting right on what today's truck buyers are lusting after, a utility, comfort, and luxury package all-in-one that'll stand up to workdays and weekend adventures alike. Last but not least, the company's battery technology excelled in this regard. Shark has greatly benefited from BYD's revolutionary battery development. The truck is equipped with LFP outstanding lithium-ion phosphate batteries, which are significantly safer and more durable than the standard lithium-ion batteries found in most electric vehicles. This makes the Shark not only cheaper at face value, but also less expensive in the long run for a person. Of course, the BYD Shark had all the cutting-edge features that can make it a serious competitor in the US market. But that is where the problems begin. The BYD Shark is exciting and affordable, but it faces a lot of resistance from the US government. But for what reasons could a pickup truck, even an advanced electric one, provoke such controversy? These answers go much deeper than just being about a truck. Geopolitics, trade policies, and economic competition all play a role. At its core, however, is that it's from China. The US has been in the midst of a multi-year trade dispute with the country, and that competition has trickled deep into the auto world, most of all into the burgeoning electric vehicle sector. BYD, of course, ranks among China's largest and most successful EV purveyors, making it a direct threat to American automakers. The arrival of the BYD Shark could mean stiff competition for US brands like Ford, General Motors, and Tesla, threatening their market share, jobs, and domestic investments. Beyond that, national security issues pose a significant concern. The American government has been increasingly wary of allowing the Chinese to lead in these sectors, particularly in transportation, which holds paramount importance. 
Foreign entities control over technologies deemed indispensable for battery production, and the software used by electric vehicles sparked concern. Advanced technology inclusions, especially in areas related to autonomous driving and connectivity, make U.S. lawmakers concerned about possible vulnerabilities or dependencies created by foreign technology. However, the ongoing trade war between countries significantly impacts the taxation of most Chinese products, including automobiles, upon import into the U.S. Companies like BYD find it challenging to compete in the market without increasing the price of Shark, which was initially marketed as a less expensive alternative. These tariffs add to the manufacturer's costs and burden consumers who otherwise could have enjoyed a lower price point for the truck. While this added to the various challenges, the opportunity to enter the U.S. market for BYD Shark sparked a conversation about lowering competition barriers. Local manufacturing and jobs are also significant concerns. Policymakers in the United States are also eager to save American jobs, and foreign car manufacturers entering the market without setting up factories often face resistance. BYD manufactures its trucks in China, making them even more scrutinized in a country that fiercely promotes Buy American policies. To put it briefly, this resistance against BYD Shark is not just about a truck. It's also about the protection of domestic industries, securing supply chains, and a complicated relationship between the United States and China. Despite government concerns, there's a reasonable interest on the part of BYD in U.S. consumers, mainly an interest in electric vehicles and less expensive options in comparison with the pickup trucks offered domestically. With those credentials, BYD is already gaining momentum, even before it sets foot on American soil. First impressions among electric vehicle enthusiasts centered on availability and pricing. Everyone is excited about finally owning an electric pickup without the high, lofty price tag associated with most competitors such as the Ford F-150 Lightning and Rivian R1T. Thus, the base price of $45,000 for the Shark easily captured the attention of those interested in an entry-level ride in the electric vehicle space. Since the Shark's release, forums and social media have been buzzing with discussions about the possibility of an electric truck that most buyers could easily afford. Shark is a hope for many to own a technologically advanced pickup without having to spend more than $55,000. But the price isn't everything. Range for the Shark, at over 300 miles, has impressed consumers looking for a balance of power and practicality, and these make for some key selling points for U.S. drivers who work with their trucks, use them for towing, or drive them long distance. The Shark has actually started representing a pretty decent option when compared to domestic pickups, and that's where the interesting things begin. Because while many were dying to get it on U.S. roads, the big question remains if it will ever be permitted in the market without heavy restrictions. The market impact of the BYD Shark could be substantial. If it can cut through the endless tangle of regulation and politics, the Shark might serve as a disruptor on the American automotive business scene. The Shark could force Ford, General Motors, Tesla, and all others to reevaluate their pricing and go-to market strategies for electric pickups. A flood of cheap, foreign-made EV pickups could force the hand of U.S.-based makers to accelerate innovation and lower prices as a means to compete. That might be considered a positive thing for consumers because it would mean more competition. There's also the potential for other foreign automakers, likely from Asia and Europe, to follow suit. Getting the Shark into the United States could open the door for others to offer similar products to American consumers, giving them more options. This could potentially shape the electric vehicle landscape and make electric trucks mainstream, at least for those who have more options. In other words, although government policies might slow its entry, the BYD Shark seems to have already created quite a racket. Consumers are waiting, and BYD Shark's entry into the U.S. market may be a game-changer in the electric pickup truck segment. Much more than just a newfangled electric pickup, this potential disruptor, particularly in the U.S. market, had come out swinging with the BYD Shark. For one thing, its price, range, and in-car technology are raising awareness of this truck among consumers and automakers alike. In fact, its journey to the United States is anything but linear. With government concerns ranging from foreign competition and national security to trade policies, the road ahead for BYD Shark's entry into the U.S. market is full of barriers. If Shark can get past those, it just may reset the entire paradigm of what Americans buy in electric trucks. It's a bold entry that challenges the status quo, offering features at a price point that many thought impossible. For consumers, this demonstrates that an electric vehicle with substantial power doesn't have to be a fantasy. It's a viable option ready for competition. The BYD Shark has created ripples, regardless of the U.S. government's eventual approval. But it still leaves one wondering. Is it going to be allowed to hit U.S. roads and reshape the future of pickups?